one of my favourite things to to come across in November, and it seems to always be November when I feel like this, um, is gorse. And you can see it's just just so bright and full of life and energetic and yeah, delightful in the middle of what is a bit of a downtime for a lot of people. It's um, everything's starting to tie up the loose ends and go to sleep and stop growing and here's the gorse just throwing a little celebration. Um, it helps that this gorgeous little flower, can you see they're like kind of like snapdragon-y shape. They've got this uh, kind of closed part and then the open petal at the top um, and they smell Oh my goodness, just like coconut sun cream or something. They're really tropical, amazing coconut smell. Oh my gosh, I forget how strong it is. Um, and you can use these, they are delicious. You can put them on a salad, you can... I make wine with them. Um, the wine doesn't taste coconutty, strangely. It tastes a little bit kind of honeysuckle floral. Um, and you can make uh, teas with them and things like that. Um, Identification wise, they're relatively easy. There is another bush with a flower that looks almost identical. Um, but gorse, as you can see, has these spectacular spikes on. And uh, unfortunately this does make picking any amount of them a bit of a pain because it's almost impossible to not get pricked. Um, but it does make them easy to identify because the other thing that gorse flowers look very much like is broom. Now broom is poisonous. I think all parts of broom are poisonous. Um, but it doesn't have thorns like this or spikes. It has these kind of soft little lobed, rounded, oval, almost all elongated leaves, um, similar in size to this, that kind of small leaves, um, but very, very different looking morphologically, the, the bush itself, um, even though the flowers are very similar. And as I said, the, the smell of this is just, crush it slightly and it just smells fantastically tropical like you're on holiday um there's a saying um as i'm saying it often is flowering in november um, and it flowers a lot it flowers on and off throughout the year um not actually all the time but the saying is that if the gorse is out of flower kissing's out of fashion um because it is a lot of the time and uh, and it just does seem to keep going so you can come across it at other times of the year and you can use it for the the same things but it's just really welcome in November when I'm getting a bit blown away and sniffly and slightly rained on. Uh, and where I live, I don't know if you can see that, but this heathland, all over it, all over the hills, all over the whole place, that's gorse bushes. So it really is very, very common and plentiful where you find it. Yeah, and then give it a few months and you've got a delicious floral light white wine to drink. Um, do press the like and subscribe buttons. Um, it's, it's a free way for you to support me growing the channel and I really appreciate it. Um, and do get out for a walk, even if it's a bit drizzly, it's actually lovely.